super hall while it's going on. We are going to build a very strong movement here, and and all of us at SDS, our group that we have to, that's dedicated to pro producing disciplined, committed, radical activists, we're all very proud to be a part of it. We are. In 1934, Major General Smedley Butler, two-time recipient of the Congressional Medal of Honor, and who, the man who died the most decorated Marine in American history, wrote, I made Haiti and Cuba a decent place for the National City Bank boys to collect revenues in. I made Mexico safe for the oil industry. I purified Nicaragua for Brown Brothers Banking Co Company. I showed the Dominican Republic the light for the American sugar interests, and I saw to it that, Amer that Standard Oil could go its way unmolested in China. The same class continues to rule our country as did then, so our wars are for the same purposes, to the same ends, and for the same destruction. They are occupying Afghanistan in order to enable themselves to steal so much of the wealth produced by the world's workers that 10 million children die of starvation every year, that half of the world's population lives on less than $2.50 per day, that 800 million people are malnourished. According to the United Nations Human Development Report, it would only cost an additional $40 billion globally to give everybody food in the world food and adequate health care, clean sanitary water, provide education, and of course, just as in the United States, where there are 25 empty houses for every single homeless person, it would count, cost absolutely nothing to give everybody in the world decent shelter. Now, the, the people of the world know this, and they have been fighting vociferously in order to maintain all of the wealth that they produce and give to their families and have good food and shelter and health care and not be dying at a genocidal level. And the people have gotten stronger and stronger than ever. Now, the only way that the petty despots and ruling classes of the countries where people are starving and are in the utmost po poverty can maintain their power is with the help of the empire. If you look at the last 50 years of the 20th century, America's foreign policy was defined by a crusade against communism. Now, if you take all of the worst, most shoddy, exaggerated, high estimates of crimes committed by communists, in other words, the ones you're likely to see quoted in the United States, and multiply them by two, the untold story of the 20th century is that the communists still saved hundreds of millions of lives on net by increasing life expectancy at about twice and sustaining those increases for decades at twice the rate of the fastest improving capitalist countries have ever achieved for any time at all. And the United States fought a global war to struggle against this, to struggle against the people who were ending poverty throughout the world. Now they're even also, as they have always done, struggle against democratically elected capitalist reformers who are giving to the people of the world, just like Hugo Chavez who won in a landslide victory in Venezuela's elections yesterday.